Hello and welcome to a demo of an Emacs package called Swiper. It's a package that uh, allows you to uh, do your eye search with a slightly different way and possibly other things. So let me start off uh, the demo by starting my Emacs, which starts in under a second, which I'm proud of. And uh, let's go to the package to my Git repositories, Swiper. Okay, and um, there are a few files here. Basically, the Swiper one is quite short, uh, only 200 lines, and uh, there's also Ivy on which it depends. So Ivy is um, is like a replacement alternative of IDO mode, and Swiper is an alternative of iSearch. So if we look at the history of this repository, I started it one month ago. So um, let me uh, show you what I can do even in this Mugit history. Basically, I buy, bind swiper commands to Ctrl S and Ctrl R. So let me just uh, turn on the command log mode and open log buffer. This one. Okay, it works. Yeah, it works fine. Um, uh, no. Where did it go? Command global command log mode. Open log buffer. This nugget is naughty. Where did you put my buffer for commands? Okay, hopefully it will not disappear anymore. Um, so if I want to see what changes were done, uh, for instance, to font lock, um, I say font, and you see already that it's highlighted all over the buffer, just like iSearch does it. And then I say lock, and you see that uh, it's, a, it's highlighted in two parts. Basically, this is done by a regex, so whenever I type a space, it's equivalent to the, this type of regex. Yeah, so the match is the same, but if it's a space, uh, it, the highlighting is a little nicer. But if I also say, like, and sure, there's even more highlighting. And then the standard bindings, like uh, Ctrl N and Ctrl P, will work in uh, this uh, buffer. And I can edit it, I can uh, like forget this, and maybe I'm looking for... So it's pretty convenient. And also here, note that you see always the amount of ca current candidates that match. And uh, you can use bindings like uh, go to the end of the buffer, go to the beginning of the buffer, to switch between the candidates. And um, also a ni nice feature that I like, and it's different from I do mode, is that it doesn't wrap, wrap around. So if I press previous line here, it doesn't go to this one. If I press next line here, it doesn't go to this one. So in my opinion, this is a lot more consistent. Okay, um, so what other things can we do? Uh, I can also switch buffers. So basically here, I have a command, uh, IV mode activated, so it replaces these kind of commands like uh, switch the buffer, and then I say IVL, yeah, and uh, def, and yeah. so it looks like this. It's pretty fast. Uh, it works in quite large files. Um, let me uh, show you the largest file that I can find, which is maybe not this one. Which one I want? So as you can see, this this is also Ivy. This is a completion method for Ivy. Yeah, this file is huge. It's twenty-five thousand lines. So if I say uh, define key. Let's see how many keys old mode defines. Only 46. Um, so as you can see, the scrolling is quite fluent in these fluid, in this uh, buffer. And maybe let's search for obsolete stuff. And, and if we're interested only in functions, yeah, nine matches. So, yeah, this kind of interesting stuff. So, the history ser uh, works similarly to iSearch. So, if I press Ctrl S twice, 
I, I'll be looking for the last thing that matched. So I cancel the last match. So if I say like down, uh, yeah, it will be available on the next one. So you can use Ctrl S and Ctrl R, or you can use Ctrl N and Ctrl P. And then there's also like history. So um, most things work around here. Um, it's also possible to uh, uh, use it from a Git. Yeah, but for this you need to uh, modify your settings. My git completion. Yeah, so as you see previously, I was using this. My git I do completing read, and I'm, I'm just using I do completing read, and uh, also for packages like uh, projectile. Yeah, this one. So I'm using I do over here. And actually, there's this package called find file in project. Uh, it uses IV by default. Uh, it's similar to what a project tile does, so I bound it to control CF. Yep, only two files. Not too interesting. Um, what else can we do? Uh -huh. Let me demonstrate uh, the way that uh, um, the way that find file works while IV mode is active. This is, uh, I wrote this feature just uh, yesterday, so it might be working a little strangely. Basically, okay, swiper, then I can go uh, up a directory if I press Del, and then I can uh, select anything I want over here. That's uh, home gate cheat sheet. And uh, so if I press uh, Ctrl M or uh, red, whatever this is, um, then that means to exit, but um, if I uh, want to just keep going in the directories, I have to press Ctrl J. So Ctrl J just keeps going around until I select the one I want, or until I um, uh, until I select uh, a dot, it will exit on the dot. But fortunately, uh, you see how the sorting here works. The directories go first, and the, the very first one is the dot. So you can exit with Ctrl J if you want. Uh, if you like this directory, you can exit right over here. So, uh, yeah, site list, um, now let's see what I have here, snippets, yeah, I have a few snippets, okay, and uh, what other options are here, I can go to my home directory by just pressing tilde, uh, it's not echoed over here, so I press the tilde, and if I press uh, slash, I go immediately to the root directory. Um, and then there's also a modification when the match is full. Uh, so normally the dash just goes to the root, but when the match is perfect, uh, it self-inserts and uh, moves to this kind of directory. Let's go back to home and then... Uh, okay. Um, um, maybe I show you um, my customizations for Ivy. There's uh, really not a lot. Uh, um, so there's a Hydra for Ivy. Um, what it does is uh, it allows me to mark some files direct. Um, I'll show you this in, in a bit. So it's bound to Control O because it doesn't really make sense to open a line in the one line buffer. And then I also have uh, rebound return to alternative uh, uh, done. So basically return works the same way as Control J does for me because I have a slightly different keyboard uh, settings with my Xmode map, uh, which you can also see, I think it's in the repository over here. Yeah, so this is how I modify my keys. Uh, for me, the semicolon is another modifier and uh, this is the way it works. Um, okay, uh, let's try to open a direct buffer. Um, okay, and uh, maybe oh, whatever. Um, uh, so let's search for Git, and then we open an IV Hydra, and then we can navigate along these candidates. Yeah, so uh, this one H goes to the left, goes here, then, and then I can also mark, and I can uh, unmark. So, 
it could be useful. I mean, uh, I just uh, narrowed my DRED buffer to whatever matches get, and then I can select out of these four things uh, which of them I like to mark. Okay, and then I can uh, exit with O, and I still have these marked, and then I can delete them or do whatever I want. Uh, I can also search by date. So let's search the packages which were updated in April. Yeah, and then uh, I can. Uh, Okay, I enter the Hydra, and uh, I can mark whichever of them I like. Okay, actually there's uh, these kind of things. Uh, uh, they happen when I uh, read the information for some package. I don't need them anymore. So I mark them, I exit, and then I can delete them. Yeah, so now these descriptions are deleted. Um, okay, so I guess this uh, runs up... Uh, uh, the demo of uh, Ivy and Swiper, and uh, um, you can get it from Melpa or from uh, GNU Elpa. It's possible to install. Um, just make sure that if you want uh, to try the Ivy mode, you need to install the latest version. So, probably you should do it from Melpa. Um, thanks for watching. Bye bye.